Right? Good morning, YouTube. This is uh, basically a video to uh, jump the gun, so to speak, and make sure I get it in before the BBC announces the new Doctor. Uh, I heard last night that they might be announcing it tonight to jump the gun on uh, on some newspapers on Sunday. So um, yeah, I've been wanting to do a video on it for a couple of days, and feel like you know I'm a big Doctor Who fan, so. You know, and I might throw some extra bits in there for maybe a future story. But anyway, down to it. Um, first, I want to get off my chest that I am sick of hearing fans say, "Oh, um, David Tennant should come back. He's coming back for the 50th anniversary special. That's it. Deal with it. You know, he wouldn't come back. They've already had him longer than like." He might have uh, might have done. Um, I think um, basically he's not going to come back. He's going to regenerate into something new. Um, hell, I'm a big David Tennant fan, but I wouldn't want him to come back. He did his time. He he decided to leave. He can't just come back and you know whenever he pleases. Uh, and we all know that he's well known now since he did the Doctor before so they want to employ him again they want somebody new fairly unknown uh, there's a lot of names that I would say I personally have laughed at or that I thought would be cool but we'll never get it because they're too well known and I'll just reel a few off here um, Russell Turvey he's been in I think he, he's been in Doctor Who before um, Rupert Grint is one that I have actually liked mainly because he's ginger but um, I, I'd like to see it um, and uh, Johnny Depp was mentioned a long time ago uh, when the mention of a movie was uh, put forward and uh, yeah not really seeing that um, Johnny Depp's an amazing actor, but I just wouldn't have him as the Doctor. Um, no matter how good he is, no matter how good a Doctor he could be, I just wouldn't have him as the Doctor. Um, Hugh Laurie's been mentioned recently. Uh, I do like everybody else, I think he'd do a good job, but I don't think he should play him. He's been in too many American TV shows. Uh, I know a lot of people would argue there's a lot of American Doctor Who fans, but it's a British TV show. I'm not really seeing the Hugh Laurie thing. Um, a couple that I would recommend myself that I know won't get it, but I think it, people are craving a black Doctor, and I think this is possibly a good move, but... I don't really want to feel like Doctor Who has to be PC all the time and, and you know, go down the route of giving equal ops and all that. Uh, I'm not saying they shouldn't with the other roles, but I think with the Doctor's role, I think it, it might, like, confuse people. And I mean, it's like they're going to do a reverse Michael Jackson, if you pardon them, you know. <laughs> but uh, if it was to be a Black Doctor, um, one particular actor that I think would do well is comedian Stephen Kermos. He's he was pretty good in Coming of Age, and he's got, had his own TV show and stuff. So he's a bit too well known for it, but I think he'd do a good job. Um, for a woman, um, someone who's been off the radar, don't know if they'd even be the right choice. Just they came to mind the other day, and it was like. And that would be interesting. It is Victoria Wood, um, such a talented actress, such you know, different and older. So possibly yeah, the experience would shine through, and she could do some really interesting stuff. But again, I don't think the Doctor should be female. I think they should stick with a male. They've seen female Time Lords, so it's obvious based on what we know that female Time Lord and male Time Lord exist so um, there's that uh, another one that won't get it again 
another comedian, Bill Bailey. Uh, such a whimsical kind of character would be really suitable for the Doctor, but that's Bill Bailey. It, you know, it's not the Doctor, so I'm not sure whether it'd really be something they'd even consider. Um, so, down to the nitty gritty, the first, the front three runners are uh, Dom Hall Gleason, who, if you don't know, because I didn't know this guy at all, and once I knew who he played, um, he played Bill Weasley in uh, the Harry Potter series, and he's the son of Alistair Moody, I think, so, who, well, the guy who plays Alistair Moody is Brendan Gleeson, but basically, I've seen the, what it looks like from the Harry Potters and from his profile since I've been looking him up to see if he's any good, see what he's been in. Definitely a good choice. If they pick him, I will be happy. I would love to see what he can do with the role. Again, not sure how well he'll do, but we'll see. Another guy who's been picked is Daniel Kaluuya. Um, he's uh, from Johnny English Reborn, he's a black guy that um, stood alongside Johnny English as Tucker. A definite good choice. Um, again, not sure that I'd particularly like the Doctor to be black, but he is awesome as a potential. Um, I'd like to see what he could do. To be honest, anybody who plays the Doctor, I'm always going to be intrigued at what they could do with the character. Um, Dom Hall Gleeson apparently wears fingerless gloves a lot. Maybe that could be the new thing for the Doctor, but I think people might be missing something. It's it's more of a case of what he's going to do, not like bow ties were cool last time. What's the new thing going to be? Because when David Tennant was the Doctor, he didn't really, as far as I remember, he didn't really have like a, a thing like Matt Smith did. And I think that was Matt Smith's thing. Matt Smith's thing was actually having a thing. Because if you think about it, he didn't have the same thing all the way through. He had bow ties, fezzes, stetsons, you know. Everything was cool. So that's like, and I think that was kind of a kid thing as well. It was kind of to bring in the kids a bit more. Bow ties are cool. The word cool, you know, a poor attempt at trying to be down with the kids, if you want. Uh, and the last one is Dominic Cooper. Um, I don't know much about this guy. Um, he, on looks, seems like the smoothest regeneration from Matt Smith out of the three. Unless, like, I suppose Don Gleason would be, you know, fairly close as well. But I think you've got to consider that it's got to be someone that's not well known. And these guys, although they've been in films, they're not the type of guys that, like me, I personally know that Jason Statham was put in the list by some people and I really don't understand it that guy is so well known as an actor and he's so good at what he does he'd have no reason to want to do the Doctor and he basically he's just too well known um, so they're the three front runners I, like I said I don't know much about Dominic Cooper it could end up being him but um, aside from that I'm not really sure um, here's the little story that I thought we could do. Um, I don't know some of you will have seen my video on um, Borderlands 2. I am a huge fan of Borderlands 2 and a huge fan of Doctor Who. How about somewhere down the line, somebody combines the two? Maybe not in the game side of things. I would love to see the Doctor meet some vault hunters and do some hunt for an alien vault. Making it about like loot would not really suit the show, but hell, why not? It, I reckon it'd be pretty cool to see uh, a siren 
and the doctor's like, whoa, and he's like, you're brilliant, and it actually be, like, even more brilliant than, like, anybody who's ever said, you're brilliant to before, and, uh, yeah, or, uh, a gunzerker, oh my god, the doctor does not like guns, the only person who's got away with it is River, and, yeah, can you imagine a gunzerker? <laughs> and the doctor. Oh, oh, yeah, again. How about the psycho? They brought out a new character class called the psycho, and oh my god. <laughs> Obviously, there's one flaw with this. In the game, all the characters have a, ha, a lot, just like the doctor, regenerate, <laughs> if you will. Uh, it could get quite complicated trying to explain that, but maybe they could bring them in and have them as mortal beings rather than regenerating endless lines of themselves or clones of themselves. Uh, maybe bring in some similar to the doppelgangers, that kind of way of thinking. But I don't know. But this is this is exciting. This could be big. Uh, the Doctor is going to have a new face come next year and uh, nobody knows who it's going to be but we might find out tonight so keep your eyes peeled um, I might do another video on this when he's announced on what I think but uh, especially if it's someone that hasn't been mentioned in this video um, but yeah Hope you enjoy. If you want to like and subscribe, feel free. Uh, it'd be nice to have some more people along. And uh, yeah, I'm sure Stephen Moffat knows what he's doing. I'll uh, catch you in a bit, guys. <laughs>